This one was written by Mabel Costandorus, who was a member of the co-optimists, like Stanley Holloway and Mary Edgar and various others. And she had a character called Mrs. Buggins, who um, was challenged in the spelling variety on long words, and she would put other words in. This is called Mrs. Jones's Operation and it's pre-NHS. <laughs> Coo, things are awful in this street. I think I'll have to move and find a more congenital location. <laughs> I let this street I was a well. But things is very different now that Mrs. Jones has had her operation. I fetched her in an ambulance. I'd been on a stretcher once the day that I fell down the hole. The gas fan made and was so small. My verticals were black and blue. They say I strained my oxit too. They say I did an awful lot to things I never knew I got. <laughs> but now they treat me just like dirt. I might be just a germ. The lowest kind of maggot in creation. You see, I brought my own old bones. The doctors carved up Mrs. Jones the same day she had her silly operation. Why, people simply flocked to her the day I fell off Clapton Pier. They brought their aunts and their cousins and dogs and husbands by the dozens. I let them share me compensation. We had a lovely cold collation with beer and spam all the way around. You know what spam was by the pound, but now that's all been forgotten. Me spam is fast and gone, and so's me bruises and me compensation. They nod so casual, hello, ma. I've seen Mrs. Jones's car, Scar. I'm nobody. I've had no operation. They go and make a cup of tea. I think they never done for me, <laughs> because he let them in free gratis to look at her appendicitis. <laughs> he keeps it on the mantel so far and he's horrible myself. Well, me, who's brought me here every bone at different times, is left alone. But rather than count out to her, I'll simply leave the place. I mean, it's a ridiculous situation. I've lived off accidents for years. Her husband had to pay for hers. And I'll make sure that I had an operation. <laughs> <laughs>